Having money is not everything, but not having money is everything. Money is like a fuel. With it, the machine can keep running. It can have output and not be eliminated by the market. This analogy is appropriate to describe Neo. And regardless of the production ratio, Neo is still the very good-looking machine. In previous video, I expressed my concern <laughs> and worries about Neo throwing itself into a price war. However, sure enough, my careful saving and budgeting seem insignificant compared to the extravagant spending of a wealthy group. Recently, we've seen that Neo has signed a share subscription agreement with CYVN Holdings, an Abu Dhabi investment firm. CYVN Holdings will conduct a strategic investment totaling approximately $1.1 billion through the insurance of new shares and transfer of old shares. This sudden inflow of capital means that Neo has more money to continue burning through. As a result, I saw their advertisement in the elevator of my building like this. Those elevator ads are really not cheap. After all, with all of this money, Neo's machine can keep running for a while longer. But how long can this positive cycle last? Today, I will analyze this with you. I'm a stock analyst based in China, and I'm also trading stocks. My goal is giving the investors a different view to look at Chinese concept stocks. If you don't want to miss a quality stock analysis video, don't forget to follow my channel and give me a thumb up. So let's start it by taking a look at what sacrifices Neo had to make to get this money. After completing the two transactions, CYVN will hold a 7% stake in Neo and become one of the largest shareholders with the right to nominate a director to the board. This equity financing at a very low point in stock price and valuation is not the perfect choice, but Neo needs the funds right now. Now, because their financials are in terrible state. Last year, Neo lost 40.5 billion yuan, and this year's first quarter saw a massive loss of 4.8 billion yuan. With the losses continuing to widen, according to media reports, Neo has accumulated losses of about 80 billion yuan since 2015. So this investment from Middle East can be seen as a timing help. However, at the rate they are burning through cash in the first quarter, this financing may not be enough to solve all of Neo's problems. After this round of financing, Neo's cash flow will increase by $738 million, about 4.3 billion yuan, and they will have 43.1 billion yuan in their accounts. So then some plans that were temporarily shelved due to the insufficient cash flow can be put back on the agenda after this injection of capital. But based on the second quarter guidance, Neo is estimated to lose about 2.59 billion per month after deducting monthly revenue from monthly expenses. Conclusion is that the money from Middle East tycoon will only last Neo for an additional two months of spending. My habit of crashing members doesn't make me optimistic, and judging from news recent stock price performance, everyone seems to be in a wait and see mode, waiting to see the next round of car sales. All I can say is God helps those who help themselves. Good luck to Neil. Now let's we move to another question. As a vested and interested in the fuel era, why does the Middle East money continue to flow to the new energy sector? From the known of the reserves, entire Middle East region currently have reserved of 102 billion tons. The UAE's carbon neutrality target is 2050, and each Middle East country has its own carbon neutrality timetable. But the main source of the income is still oil. Having only money and oil left, the Middle East corn are very anxious. To break free from their independence on the oil economy, the Middle East region is actively promoting energy transformations and investing heavily in uh, renewable resources. Several oil producing countries in the Middle East are undergoing national level strategic transformation, one of which is towards new energy. 
Before new, other Chinese TV makers such as uh, Tianji, Gaohe, Aichi had also made inroads into the Middle East since 2020. Aichi has formed a strategic partnership with its uh, Israel partner and officially entered the Israel market. March 2021, Aichi U5 began pre-sales in Israel. So after looking at the investment side, do you feel that the situation is entirely under their control and the investment in NEO is just one part of their big organizational strategy? They are good at diversifying their bets. Even if NEO makes a mistake, that's okay, it's not a big problem, as it's still in line with their strategic direction, right? In recent years, we saw that many sovereign wealth funds in the Middle East have continued to increase their investment in China. Regardless of their scale or level of expertise, they are gradually becoming an undeniable force in the domestic capital market. And new energy vehicles have become a popular investment target for Middle East sovereign wealth funds this year. Data shows that several Chinese automakers such as Geely, BYD, and Chang'an have entered the Middle East market already. In the recent years, the Middle East's attention and the demands for new energy vehicles have been growing, and more and more Chinese new energy vehicle companies are beginning to enter the Middle East market. Automotive industry has always been a key area of focus for Middle East sovereign wealth funds, and their investments in European luxury car brands have yielded rich returns. Since 1970s, Middle East funds have frequently invested in European luxury car manufacturers. Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes-Benz, received funding support from the Kuwait Investment Authorities. Qatar Investment Authority successfully invested in Porsche before its IPO, and Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund has invested in luxury car makers such as the McLaren and Aston Martin. When it comes to this, it is natural to speculate will Neil be acquired in its next step? Currently, the next move of Abu Dhabi investment from CYVN Holdings is on no. Also, Neil stated that this strategic investment provides an opportunity for both parties to expand into international market. But I think if CYVN Holdings only wants to help Neil to sell cars, it can only become a dealer and would achieve the goal without need to spend more money to buy equity rights. Therefore, this Middle East investment firm may not be a single-minded financial investor from my perspective. Given the Middle East large-scale energy transformation plan, there's potential opportunity for corporations such as the majority stake of NEO being acquired. NEO's high-end positioning, pure electric technology route, battery swamp system, and accumulated experience in service all appeal to Middle East tycoons. Moreover, with news appeal, it might even bring an industry chain along, something that Middle East have been dreaming of. At the same time, news vehicles are not worried about sales. Since Saudi Arabia can buy a 100,000 lucid vehicles and Abu Dhabi government can buy 50,000 new vehicles, I think it shouldn't be a big problem, right? However, everything depends on news founder Li Bing. Let's hope he can have good luck again this time. If you want to invest in China, subscribe my channel and get the latest perspective of the equity research.